Dear viewers, Assalamu alaikum. Today is our fourth lecture on medicinal chemistry, which we study different type of drugs and their action. So there are different type of drugs that acts on different parts of the body. So here we will discuss the drugs that acts on central nervous system and the drugs that acts on autonomous nervous system cardiovascular system, digestive system, urinary system, endocrine system and the drugs that acts on respiratory system and chemotherapeutic drugs. So let's start to discuss one by one. So first the drugs that acts on central nervous system. There are different type of drugs that acts on central nervous system like sedatives or hypnotonics they improve sleepness anesthetics which are used for loss of sensation they may be local anesthetics or whole body anesthesia can be provided tranquilizers tranquilizers are used to reduce anxiety fear and tension antidepressants Antidepressant drugs are used to relieve stress. CNS stimulants. Central nervous system stimulants are used to increase alertness and attention. Narcotics analgesics. These are opioid type drugs which are used for pain relief. So they are called as painkillers. Anticonvulsants. Anticonvulsants are used for seizure or different shocks like control electrical activity and shocks inside the brain so they can also be used for epilepsy anti parkinson agents so a disease which is parkinson disease in which the nerve cells are degenerated and the de the medicines which are used for uh, this type of disease are called anti parkinsonism agents anti alzheimer agent alzheimer is a disease in which there is a memory loss or language loss and the drugs which are used for alzheimer disease are called anti alzheimer agent they are they are also acting on central nervous system Skeletal muscle relaxants. There are many medicines which are used for musculoskeletal pain, in which when we have a pain on muscles or musculoskeletal muscles, then we take these medicines for relief or stiffness of the muscles to relieve. Drugs acting on autonomous nervous system. The drugs which are used for autonomous nervous systems are adrenergic drugs. These drugs are used to increase heart rate, constriction of blood vessels and blood pressure. Adrenergic blockers, they have opposite action uh, as compared to adrenergic drugs and they inhibit adrenergic receptors and thus decreases the heart rate and dilution of the blood vessels. Cholinergic drugs. Cholinergic drugs are used for smooth muscle constriction and relaxation and also because of this constriction and relaxation there sometimes there is secretion of mucus or any, uh, uh, any uh, gland secretion. And uh, anticholinergic drugs, anticholinergic drugs are used to block the action of um, neurotransmitter like acetylcholine. So these anticholinergic drug binds on muscarinic receptors and they block that receptors where acetylcholine binds. Drugs acting on cardiovascular system. There are different drugs which are used for cardiovascular system and, and different diseases of the heart like antihypertensive drugs. Antihypertensive drugs are used to reduce blood pressure. So they 
uh, releases water from the blood and in this way the blood volume is reduced or decreased and this and thus blood pressure is decreased so they are also called as diuretics antiarrhythmic drugs antiarrhythmic drugs are that type of drugs which reduces the heart beat or heart rate or heart rhythm so they reduces or decreases the heart rhythm anti hyperlipidemic agents anti hyperlipidemic agents are that kind of drugs that are used to decrease lipid profile or lipid level inside our body like decrease in cholesterol or hdl or ldl so they are used to decrease lipid inside our body anti anginals anti anginals are that kind of drug which are used to relieve angina pectoris drugs acting on inflammation and allergy there are different drugs which are used for used as anti inflammatory like antihistamines antihistamines are used to relieve allergic conditions and they uh, they you they they re reduces the uh, production of histamine prostaglandins prostaglandins are uh, like uh, leukotrienes or other uh, drugs so prostaglandin reduces inflammation analgesics analgesics are called as relief pain are painkiller so analgesics are used to relieve pain antipyretics and NSAIDs antipyretics are the drugs which are used in high fever or reduces the uh, high temperature of our body and NSAIDs are non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs so they are not steroidal types like brufen so they relieve fever and pain drugs acting on digestive system number 1 anti ulcer agents anti ulcer agents are the drugs that neutralizes or inhibit gastric acid production and protects mucosal layer they are also uh, called as h2 antihistamines so they blocks h2 type of histamine receptors so they are also called as h2 antihistamines so they reduces the gastric acid secretion antidiarrheal antidiarrheal are that kind of drugs that reduces fluid excretion like fluid excretion or water excretion in stool and uh, they retain water inside our body drugs acting on urinary system the drug that acts on urinary system and they are used to release salt and water are called diuretics so diuretics are also called as water pills they release salt and water from the body whereas anti diuretics are opposite have function opposite to the diuretics and they retain salts and water inside our body drugs acting on endocrine system endocrine system is the system inside our body body and there are different type of glands that secretes different hormones and uh, neurotransmitters or compounds that are directly released into the blood so hypoglycemic drugs hypoglycemic drugs are used to control glucose level inside our body so they act on insulin uh, they act on uh, pancreas and thus uh, they uh, reduces the production of glucagon and thus and increases the production of insulin inside our body and in this way the glucose level in blood blood decreases steroids steroids are hormones are used for inflammation so they steroids are used as a, a replacement for hormones or they can be used for anti as an anti inflammatory agents anti thyroids Antithyroids are the drugs that reduces thyroid secretion. Drugs acting on respiratory system. 
The first one is expectorants. Expectorants are used to clear mucus from air sacs. So they either break down that mucus layer or they make it thin and then it will be excreted out. Antitussive drugs. Antitussive drugs are used to suppress cough. And bronchodilators. Bronchodilators are the drugs which are used to make breathing easy. So they dilate our bronchia, bronchi and then we can make breath easily. Chemotherapy. Chemotherapy is generally used to treat infectious diseases like antibiotics. Antibiotics are the medicines that are used to treat bacterial infection, either killing them or inhibiting their growth. Antivirals. Antivirals are used to treat viral infection like HIV, HCV or other kind of viral infections like COVID-19. Antifungals. Antifungals are the medicines that are used to treat fungal diseases. Antituberculosis. Antituberculosis is the medicines that are used to treat mycobacterium tuberculosis infection. Anti-amoebics. Anti-amoebics are that kind of drugs which are used to uh, treat uh, amoebic infection uh, which mostly occurs in intestinal infection due to amoeba. Anti-malarials. Anti-malarials like artemisinin or chloroquine they are such kind of drugs which are used to treat malarial infection which is, uh, you, which, which is due to uh, Plasmodium falciparum or other species of uh, Plasmodium. Antineoplastics. Antineoplastics are that kind of medicines or drugs which are used to inhibit the abnormal growth inside our body. It may be uh, benign or malignant tumors or other kind of uh, uh, excessive growth inside our body. So in this video, we discussed different kind of drugs and their action. So there are different drugs which acts on different parts of our body and they perform their function. So in our next videos, we will discuss that how these drugs acts on our body or what is the mechanism of action of these drugs uh, and how they treat these kind of diseases. So thanks for watching my video.